YouTube. Hello friends and people in the virtual world. Welcome back to Baggy CMD. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the channel. Welcome back to Saddler's Way. It's been a long time since we've actually done any work on the layout. Obviously had a couple of holidays recently as you've probably seen from a few random videos that have come up. But today we are going to copper clad some tracks. Now copper clad is copper over over a printed circuit board material and we use this to uh, join our tracks to ready for us to cut so we can part of the layout uh, if we're going to take it to a show i've mucked up and brought too thin uh, a copper clad material so what i'm going to have to do is double stack it to uh, make sure it's going to be all all right on there so let's pull the camera back a little bit you have to excuse this here that's just the mount that the camera's on at the moment so if we're going to be using this copper clad, what we're going to do is mark it about the same width as what a sleeper is. Maybe just a little bit more when I can find where I've put a marker pen. Two seconds. As ever, I'm highly organised with these uh, videos. No, that pen's knackered. Hold on, two secs. Are we any better? Yeah. We'll be pender about knackered, I think. So I would make a little mark there. We'll measure it up as well. Double check that we've got a decent, decent length. And then we'll make them all a uh, pretty standard size then for, for myself there. So that's not actually too bad. Three centimetres, 30 mil, just over an inch. Also, I'm going to have to double stack them one on top of the other. So... If I was really sensible, I actually have some tape up here as well with me. Oh, I'm so not organised today for this video. I've even got a new light up here as well, which is quite nice. So you can actually see what we're doing on here as well. Because all the other videos have been quite, uh, quite dark. So what we're going to do here is roughly stick them together. Probably should use better than insulation tape. But for the purposes of this experiment... It'll do nicely. We are going to have to drill a couple of holes in all this as well, which we will do now. Now, obviously, it's double sided uh, circuit board with a couple of clads, so we'll have to just file a little gap in the middle of it all. So, let's get some of my hand isn't in the way, so we don't actually short anything out when we start using it there uh, just drilled these this is purely so we can put the hole through even better if it went through square so square enough once we've got ballast round it you ain't gonna be able to tell just one side done try to keep you sort of in shot here folks and then i want another one with my mark gone just about there There will do. Slightly annoyed I got the wrong size to uh, copper clad. But these little things come and try us. Ooh, that's going to be tough. i just going to be over with me all, I think. Are we through? No, we're near yet. <laughs> Oh, almost. Might just have to tighten up the uh, drill bit a little bit. There we go. Got soldering iron pre-eating just behind the camera because we're going to need to use that in a minute. There we go. Now we're free. So, just see so we've come a little bit close to that mark, but that's no problem. We'll just trim it off with the old Dremel. If I have enough cable on the old Dremel, we do. Well, don't try and take me any fingers out. We are doing well. And that one shot off somewhere. <laughs> Where the hell did that one go to? It went that way. Uh, two seconds. We'll see if we can find that one. We still got one. Wherever that one's just disappeared to as well. Found me off both of them. Yay! Uh, one moment, please, guys. 
We found some that I just literally shot over the, <laughs> over the other side of the board. That was a little bit embarrassing, wasn't it? I forgot quite how much force the older Dremel had there. Right, let's just get it out of here. I thought this isn't the best way of doing the copper cloud I have mucked up somewhat. So we just need to file out the middles of these now just so we know we're not going to have any electrical problems. I've literally just brought up a file. Ha, there it is. Underneath my hammer. So what we do is just file out the middles. Ooh, make sure and you're going to wobble no end, didn't you? So in my hands uh, just to file it out so we get to the copper board on the uh, board underneath that's all you can see straight through same with this one what you can do as well is cut it as well we might actually cut this as well because There we go. One done. There's two done. Yeah. Well, we've gone all the way with the old. We ain't gone through all, all the way through the old with that one. Let me just finish going through. I thought we'd gone all the way through then with that one, guys. Oh, we use copper clad. Are we free? Yes, because we're free to the board. Right, now I've got to remember how these stack up now. Uh, that one goes with that side. There we go. Whoops, Daisy. Sorry for the little wobble there, guys. You see, that'll just fit under the traps like that. A couple of pins so we can pin it a bit better. Sorry if you keep wobbling around, guys. We are we are highly professional here at Baggies TMD. Yeah, this isn't going well, is it? Right, uh, stick a bin through. Yeah, like that. Keep them both together. So much easier when you've got the right sized copper cladder, will isn't it? Might see how this one goes. Might have to get some different copper cladder, I think, guys, because this is going very poor at the moment. Should be nice and simple, this should, but like I say, I've brought the wrong thickness copper clad. Right, let me just. Position everything up. How's that looking? That's not looking too bad. Right. Let's hammer that in there. Excuse my finger in the way, guys. There we go. There's one side in, so we'll just cut another piece off and do the other side exactly the same. How long did we say, guys? It was 30, cent uh, 30 centimetres, 3 centimetres, didn't we? Oh, well, smart though, I could put this through though, couldn't I? And then chop it and then it won't disappear so quick. That's a good idea, that is. Brain waves as we go along. I'll just uh, quickly drill in another roll off. Off shot guys, but it's easier for me to do it off shot than what it is in shot, so I've got more space. More space to the side of me. Oh that's not going well. Yeah. I think I'm gonna to have to get some different copper clad guys. This is absolutely this is going terrible. I'm making the mistake, so you don't have to. How does that sound? Ah, God. ah! This is not going well, guys. This is going pretty poor. This is going pretty poor, guys. I think we're going to have to get some different copper clad. We'll do this one, and then we've got to 
I swap copper glasses, I think. Because this is not going very swimmingly. It keeps skating round, which is not ideal. And every time I do that, you wobble around. Yeah. Uh, one minute, let me get this piece of copper clad sorted. Right, we've got the second piece of copper clad sorted. I've, I've, got, the, I've got the hang of it now, I think. I hope. <laughs> it's, uh, that's, I normally use a much wider copper clad. It doesn't seem to give me so many problems as what this is, but... We'll, 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 we'll model up. Oh, why don't we have not done? We haven't, uh, what city detailed or have we? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll nail it either side and sl slit it with the old, uh, Dremel. That'll work. That'll work. We, we're altering it on the fly, guys. As I say, baggy TMD, we're highly professional here at cocking things up. <laughs> this seems to be at the moment. Is that going to be about right? Let's put that over a little bit. Little matter if there's a little gap in between. We've got to watch it to you anyway. There's one. Now we can buzz it straight off then. There we go. Buzz that off with the old Dremel. I hold it so it doesn't fly off. There we go. There we go. So we've got soldering iron on, heating up as we go along. The plan is we're going to solder the rail to this bit of copper clad here. So, uh, can I zoom you in while I'm doing this? Let's see if we can zoom in for you. Ooh, there we go. See if you have, hopefully, you have to see what I am doing. Oops, that is it. Soldier iron is warm, and my soldier iron is everywhere. All right, let's see. You can see what I'm doing. So you can just see I'm eating up, eating up the copper clad next to the track. Just feed a bit of the old uh, soldier on it. In theory, put enough on, and once it's heated up, it'll bond the track. To the copper clad like it has done i'll we'll just put a bit more because that doesn't look very effective at the moment that's better do this other side as well so i say warming up the track warming up the copper clad and it all join itself together so then when you cut it you know the track isn't going to move anywhere oops just bring the cable in front of you do the same on the other side. Bit more solder. There we go. You can see now the uh, copper clad is attached to the rail with the solder. So when we drill through it here, it isn't going to go anywhere. And we'll just put another couple of tacks in there. I say I, I forgot to do that one. It's just too much of a pain in the ass. So we'll just slip down the middle. We know we're not going to get any shorts in through the copper clad. Happy days. We will be good. So I'm just going to drill a couple more holes. Let me just move this soldering iron out of the way so I don't burn my hand on it. And to be fair, it does like it probably actually be alright this copper clad because it does sort of look like sleepers, so it's not I think we're gonna get away with this to be really honest guys. I might just have to do the other ones off camera so it's a bit um oops, does it my hand in the way? A little bit infuriating. <laughs> there we go. Right, 
the smaller copper clad I'm used to a much thicker and that's gone straight down there that's not good oh no we found some wood yeah oh, I've just cut this up completely I'm hang on that like that here's my finger Who would do model railway in, hey guys? Who would do model railway? So once it's, once it's all weathered up, you ain't gonna be able to tell anyway. Right, back with the old Dremel. We are going to cut the tracks. You can see copper clad's been cut, tracks have been cut, and we have still which my loco that's just inside of me will show an half hour joint, and that's the train in the uh, camera mount. So I forgot the mount was in the way. This video is going brilliantly, isn't it, guys? <laughs> but like I say, now we've got a join, so when we take the light apart, we'll be all right, put it back together. We know the tracks are gonna join up. Hope you enjoyed me showing you how to uh, cock up fitting copper clad, guys. I've got three more joints to do. I'm going to do them off camera because it's really infuriating now uh, that that cocked up so much. But uh, if you like me cocking up my videos, guys, don't forget to like it. I'll see you later.